I will talk about uh, machine learning uh, process behavior monitoring by its system called sequences. Okay. Okay, uh, first of all, I outline of my talk. First of all, I will say in a few words what is a system call. Who here is in audience know what the system calls is? I am like half. I'm not. Uh, okay, good. Then I will talk, say a few words on how do we record system call in Linux or Unix. Then, if uh, if the Wi-Fi will permit, I will try to reproduce the recording of system calls. After this, I will talk about the representation for machine learning, machine learning algorithms, in and I will finish by results presentation. Okay. What is a system call? System call is a, is a from Wikipedia is a programmatic way in which a computer program requests for a service from the operation system. We can say it's like an interface be between process and the operational system. The next. Okay. Roughly, I would say that the sequence of the system calls of the process. It, it's, it's like it's a fingerprint. By the way, in general, uh, I would say it's not so precise, but if two programs they have exactly the, say, the same six system call sequences, I can say that they are very similar. Okay? Now, a, a few examples of system calls, maybe for some intuition to people which are less uh, aware with this. Let's say uh, we can divide those system calls into some groups. For example, like let's say process control, like load, execute, terminate, like communication, uh, like uh, send, receive, uh, attach, deattach, uh, uh, like file management, open, close, read, write. What I will do now? How do we record the system calls? We have a few programs like S trace, D trace, Sysdix. They all, all, all of them are similar and. It's, in general, it also, it's not so important how do we record it. Okay, now we'll try to show how system how do, do we can uh, obtain system calls from the IPython. Okay. Okay. Here, from the right side, we have an IPython. From the left side, we have a regular ter terminal. Ah, sure. By the way, in my screen, it is opposite. But there is, uh, by the way, there is nothing, no, nothing to see uh, till now. And let's look. Let's say one plus one is two, okay, it, it works. Then I will write some uh, regular loop, okay, it goes from one to 30, it prints uh, two in the power of i, and there is some uh, time slip be between them, okay. From the, uh, from the, from your right side, I will open the sysdic, which will record the system call sequences. For this, f first of all, I, I need to know the process ID. Okay, I do PS minus F, uh, I write something, and this, this number is the, is the process ID of the IPython, okay? Then I write the sysdim, then I run the sysdim, which uh, record the system calls of this process, which, which is our loop with the numbers, okay? Mm -hmm. I hope it will work. Okay, here we see the, our system calls. This one, like select, write, uh, select, write, and switch. This is the system calls of this loop. Okay, we can uh, we can reset it. Now we'll, when we will have the new number, it will print the the new system or the new s sequence of the system calls. That's all. Nothing uh, you know. Nothing uh, complicated. Okay, now let's go back to the presentation. Okay.
Okay, this, the, this we, we already seen. Okay, now we would like to think about some representation, okay? A uh, few, cons uh, few considerations. From the one side, we want to have some uh, concise representation. Since you know, there are some programs which generate about half a million uh, system calls per, uh, per second. And on, from, for, from the second part, we, also, we want to preserve some temporal behavior of the process, okay? Then we'll do something simple. We'll do, maybe it's a bit similar to one gram or to, to histogram before, before you plot it. Let's say we have, here we have some process, we, we have just two, two seconds, okay? Here is the second, second number one, okay? And second number two, here we have few system calls as read, write, send, file, exit, okay? And second number two, we have two times write and exit. First second, we will summarize as, as two times read, uh, one time write, send file, and exit, okay? And, and the and second number two, we have just two times write and one time exit, you know? So, Something simple, like like you know, you know like, like you summarize the sentence by 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 n grams, while n equals equal to one. Okay, and then to our uh, machine learning algorithms, we would like to provide not just the one row. We'll provide we'll like to provide the all all matrices. Okay, and for this, we sh we sh we should uh, choose the, uh, the our family of algorithms in such way that from the from the w one side we could benefit from the long processes. Long process will have a lot of lines, okay? And also being capable to also to, to use the short process. The short process, which is run less than one second, will have uh, just one line, okay? And we will, as was already presented before, we'll uh, use the family of uh, 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 algorithms from uh, recurrent neural networks, okay? Like uh, RNN, LSTM, and GRU. And we'll tr what we'll try to do, maybe a few words of motivation. Let's say, we, we'll, in general, we have a lot of processes in some servers. We would like to, to, to learn the regular behavior of the processes. Then when our process behaves somewhere not as it should, we want to maybe to send some alert, maybe we want, we want to maybe to restart the, uh, the, to restart the computer, maybe we want to send alert to some technicians and, or, some, or, some, or, some, or, or something other to do. Okay, now I will say in a few words, uh, about recurrent neural network, maybe I should less, uh, I also assume that the majority were here on, on the UAV's lecture. Am I right? Wh who was not? I will say in a few words, but uh, in, uh, from, uh, from those who was not, who, you, are you familiar with the recurrent neural networks? And I will say it shortly, okay. Well, for, for us, what is the advantage of recurrent network networks? That, we, that input uh, could, could, could have the various sizes, okay? This is the picture is taken from uh, Benjo and Jan uh, Goodfellow's book, okay? Here we just, uh -huh. here we have our input, here we have our hidden state, and here we have our output, okay? If somebody is familiar with feed-forward network, we could see it as a feed-forward net network, while the weights are, uh, are staying the same, it, it shares it, it is its weight matrix. And our parameters is just the, the th three matrices. One is the uh, uh, weight matrices of the hidden state, the second is U, it's the uh, weight matrices of the input, and the V is the matrices of, the, of our output, okay? Okay, what is the, in general, uh, our problem with this recurrent neural network, that if the if our sequence is too long, uh, um, this uh, RNN is not so effective. There's something is called like uh, vanishing or exploding gradients. I will say it in a few words that it's not as scary as it looks. Let's say here we have the uh, equation for updating our hidden states. We have our weight matrix. Uh, this is the hidden state in the, in the step T. It's uh, equal to weight matrix multiplied by, by hidden state in the step T, T minus one. Well, we can uh, rewrite it as a uh, uh, weight matrix in the power of, of, uh, of T. And we can uh, write this uh, uh, eigenvalue the decomposition. Okay, Q is the eigen, eigenvectors and, uh, and delta is eigenvalues. And here we can, see it, we can see that we have the eigenvalues in the power of 10. If our eigenvalues are less than one, we have the here in the power of 10. If, if, if uh, eigenvalues are less than uh, one, it, it vanishes. If, if it is more than one, it's exploding, more or less. 
Okay, in order to solve it, uh, uh, it's, it's not our solution, but it's, it's what other people do. Uh, we will use the LSTM. It's thanks for long, short-term memory. There is a much, uh, the input and output are the same, okay? But inside there is a few additional matrices. Here we have a six matrix instead of three, which, which should, uh, which should uh, reduce this, uh, this influence on these uh, gradients when you, have the long, uh, when you have the long sequences, okay? How is my time? Ah, okay, good. I know that it's, uh, it's challenging. We have a lunch and, uh, okay. Uh, okay, let's, uh, how do we record system calls in general? I would like to make some experiment and I want to re record data to learn each process and then to test my, to, 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 to test my results. Let's say we have some process that we would, ch we would like to, 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 ch to, to check, regard them. Let's say we have SSH, Excel, WGET, WGET, it's like in, uh, in Linux to download some, something from the web. We have LS, just to print what we have in current directory. What we can do, you know, just put it into the loop, okay? And then be before the loop sta start recording and after the loop to stop recording. But uh, who thinks that it is, it, is, it, is, it is a good way? And who think that it is a bad way? And, and who don't, don't want to participate? <laughs> uh, okay, by the way, this is, this, is a, this is a very bad way. I, I don't know who, by, by whom it was suggested, but uh, we o almost did it, but then like uh, we stopped with this. With this, with this. What is the, the disadvantage of this? That, uh, that let's say we, we have a W get to some website or LS with some p parameter, and we are making in the loops. Each time we'll, we'll, we'll receive exactly the same signature, exactly the same system calls. It's, it's, it is equal to just one step of the loop and just, you know, just to up sampling the, sa the same data. It, even if you get the excellent results, it doesn't have any sense. Then what was done, somebody called this picture as a democracy, but uh, no matter. It is picture not mine by, by David. He, he also implemented this uh, architecture for this. What we have here, here we have some email, and we subscribed it for a lot of spam emails. Okay, you know, a lot of, I don't know, Twitter and you know, some, all other organizations that send you a lot of emails. The purpose of this, first of all, to generate some, 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 true, some uh, true data, also this, this data can be published. No, it's not private, it's not uh, corporate, it's not, you know. It's just spam emails. Then uh, we receive all those emails. This is the email address, somebody who wants to send some spam, y you may. Okay, then from, from, from the client, we receive those emails. There are some programs on those clients, like fetch mails, maybe some antivirus, maybe some other, some other communication protocols. And then this client sends those emails to servers. And then we, we, we record system calls here. And also we record it here. Okay, and then we have a lot of processes, and, so, and some processes are the same, and some processes are the different. This will also to allow us to check the behavior of the same process on the different machines, and it has some uh, advantages. Okay, now we are almost in the results. Okay, we are, we are almost finished. Here, in, in the results, saying the truth, I'm not sure what is the correct way to measure the performance, but let's say we'll use the confusion matrix, somehow, um, in my opinion, it is one of the best, you know, it, it includes everything. But somehow you have, you have 50 processes, you have matrix 50 by 50, you have like 2,000 numbers and to compare two confusion matrices, it's somehow not a, not, not a big joy. Um, okay. Also, we'll look per process on the precision and recall. If somebody wants to ask me about what is confusion matrix, precision and recall, you are you are highly welcome to do it uh, after the talk. Um, okay, this is a confusion matrix. I don't know if somebody sees it. Let's say here is the numbers. It's it, it's the number of the of, of the process name. Okay, here is the, all all these uh, process names. I'm I'm not sure that it's so important pro what are process names exactly, but here the first number is the precision. Second name is the Maybe it is opposite. No, first is recall, second precision, on verse wise. It's not so, by the way, the numbers are similar. And somehow to, to ask the results, the, the, the absolutely 
Excellent. Let's say uh, in, in confusion matrix, if, if, the, if it's diagonal, that means it's excellent. Your, accru your accuracy is 100%. And here, no, here we, we have some uh, errors here, let's say, from between process 4 and 5. And also here we have some errors here. And here, you know, it's, it's not, so, it not as, as, as perfect as it looks. By the way, we can look why we have the error between 4 and 5. Let's look of, on the number of the processes. 4, it is a server tail. And 5 is a client tail. Like somehow it, it is the same process. And like this error for us, it, it is fine, okay? Tail, uh, if I write, like, you know, you want to print the end of the file, I think it, it, this is it, okay? Then, uh, then we decided to, to, to I would share my opinion and not, maybe not only my, I'm a big skeptic on those results. It's looking to me maybe, maybe the problem is too simple. And um, we tried it to, to do it into some uh, different uh, computers. I'm not so aware of what specific running on it, or maybe I'm, or maybe for the purpose of this presentation, in order to to keep the privacy, let's say that I don't know. And we discovered that there is a lot of different processes, and some processes of are, the sh are long ones. L long ones, let's say we define the process which has more than ten lines. Uh, that is run more than 10 seconds. And the short process is a process which is runs uh, less than one second. And then we divided those processes into groups and then we uh, evaluate our model separately on those, uh, in those two cases. Let's look onto the confusion matrix. Here for the privacy, we don't have these uh, process names, but let's say I'm not sure that it, it is so important. Here, we, we, let's say we, we have here the performance which is similar to our previous results. It's mostly, let's say, it's about 95% recall, it's also about 90% precision. There are some few errors, maybe it should be also investigated if, if it is indeed errors or if it's maybe some similar processes which have the similar um, functionality. And now we are, we, are, we, are, uh, we, are, we are trying to run it on, on the short processes, okay? Here we can see that we have a lot of uh, values which are all uh, are the off, off diagonal values, and, and also our uh, performance is, is. Do you see these numbers, by the way? Yeah. Okay. It's something about uh, zero eight. Okay. It also our uh, uh, performance decreases. Okay. We are almost in the end, by the way. I think uh, the, the next slide is the last one. Okay. Uh, uh, what is missing for me in this presentation? Let's say uh, I would like also uh, also to, to to add some uh, comparison with some basic algorithms. Okay, like uh, maybe it's support vector machine and logistic regression. In some uh, initial stages, I did this, those experiments, and on both of the, this method, the results were not bad. But let's say not as good as RNN. But currently, I don't have these results for this current data. What also could be improved, uh, such, such uh, parameters tuning maybe is, is optimization algorithms, number of hidden nodes in the, in the network, let's say number of uh, rows in input, or let's say currently we usually we, uh, if, if the process has more than 10 or 20 lights, we just cut it. We just, we, in the batches, we just provide the batches by, uh, by 20. And also we can change the duration of each row. It could be one second, it could be 100 milliseconds, it could be 10 seconds. And uh, all, almost finished, the last slide is the credits. Uh, first of all, this uh, ID architect is David, which is, uh, was, was presenting to, to us uh, yesterday and sitting here in, in the second line. Um, if it works good, it's his uh, contribution. Uh, also, I would like to mention uh, my colleague Benjamin, which helped me a lot. It was implemented in the TensorFlow. He helped me a lot of handling with all these errors. Some, some, somehow in TensorFlow, sometimes you receive some errors and you, you have no idea where it comes from. And yeah, like you can't just print the variable and like sometimes, sometimes it's a few minutes and sometimes it's a few weeks. And somehow um, I had both cases. And uh, also I would like to to mention the Yotami, he is also sitting here in the third line. Uh, he helped me with uh, what I presented in, in the beginning, how to record the, the system calls. It's, uh, it's his, um, uh, he's in David's help to, to, to for this presentation. Um, yeah, if we finish the uh, questions, uh, I welcome.
saying the truth, it's, it's not defined well. Maybe David will correct me. But let's say you have some uh, processes, program processes, like it's programs, okay? Uh, and then you want to learn its behavior. It could be, I could say it's anomaly detection. But anomaly de detection, no, it's too general, let's say. But anomaly de detection, it, it fits perfectly, okay? Maybe there's somebody running some program and he just changed the name, you know. And, uh, he wants uh, running some keylogger and he, you know, he just the name, uh, changed the name to, I don't know, to SSH or to, to, to top or to head. Or, and I, I, I want to discover this situation. Uh, for example, you know, you have some server and somebody maybe uh, installed some uh, other version of some program and you want to detect it. And uh, by the way, we didn't check such case, but uh, let, let's say uh, maybe some example, or maybe your pro pro program is going to collapse. Maybe by this you can uh, you can discover it, uh, discover it earlier. Uh, some additional questions. By the way, uh, one of, one of my reasons, you know, to present it to, uh, present it here and not also was, you know, like also to hear like some criticism, not uh, like because we have here a lot of the, a lot of doubts in this approach that we took and about also assumptions that we took, like if somebody wants to tell, to share some hard stuff, uh, you, you're welcome. Uh, here on offline or...